Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today is going to be a video we're going to be talking about bags. A lot of bags. I've been getting blown up in emails and messages and comments for me to do a, a new bag video, kind of like a loadout breakdown video, which I'll be getting into down the road. And then I've been getting asked my thoughts on the new Vertex bags. A lot of you guys know that I'm a big fan of Vertex bags. I try all of them. I like some Fab 11 bags, some Vanquest bags. You'll see other bags on the channel. But my main jam really for the last while has been this Vertex gamut. That's kind of my EDC laptop bag of choice. They, Vertex, just released a bunch of new bags this summer. They're either out or they're coming out soon. And all of their bags kind of share a similar DNA. They're kind of geared towards concealed carry, though I don't carry a gun in my personal EDC bag because I carry on body. They have a lot of Velcro, good organization, comfortable quality materials, all this stuff. So as I'm going through the bags, I'm gonna just briefly touch on some stuff. I'll spend a little more time on some of their new models probably, but I'll just be kind of showing the whole array from kind of their very small bags, like their very small sling type bags, up to their larger like backpacks, which is they have the Overland or Overlander over here, which they said was inspired by me. I don't know if it was or not. I work closely with Vertex though. They sent all of these bags out. They didn't pay me to make this video or anything, but they did send me all of these bags to check out, to try for you guys. They also give me a code to give it to you. So that code is LLOD. Those four letters will save you 25% off of anything at vertex.com, these bags or clothes or accessories, anything. So huge thanks to Vertex for getting these out, giving you guys a code. Anyway, the new bags, the 2.0 lines basically are a revamp of their older bags that were kind of their most popular bags. And then they have some new bags that are brand new this year. They all kind of share some upgrades, basically. They use now all US-made Velcro, which has greater shear strength, um, new materials. They have some of this softer stuff, some of this more kind of shiny type material. Uh, they're these kind of pockets in here, these like mesh, so you can still kind of see through them, but they don't snag on anything versus the older pockets on this is my older the gamut 1.0 you can see this is kind of a different mesh material that can snag on stuff another big change is the back material it used to be this kind of material they switched to what is called now a 3d molded material on all of their bags so the backs of all the new vertex packs will be like this. Also, they changed their zipper pools. There's no metal on metal anymore, so these are all quiet. I think there may be a few other small changes, but those are kind of the big ones. And quick before we get into some bags, so they all feature kind of Velcro pockets. This is a Glock cleared beforehand. I make a holster. This is an older one. They've changed a little bit, but basically it has these Velcro strips on the back, and it's a Kydex holster. This will attach, I'll show you in a bit, to the internal compartments, kind of the concealed carry area of a lot of these bags. I make and sell this holster. Just go to llod.us slash holsters if you want to pick it up. I designed this holster kind of around the Vertex bags, to be honest. So good pair with the bags. And then Premier, this is a giant panel. They make these in all kinds of different sizes. This is a bulletproof panel. It's thin, it's light, it's flexible. It stops basically all handgun calibers. They make these specific precision fit to go into the Vertex bags. Every single Vertex bag has a little compartment in the back that's designed around panels. There's some other manufacturers that make them, but I've kind of partnered with Premier. They send these out for me to test and stuff. They also gave me a coupon code. I think it saves 10% off of premierbodyarmor.com. LLOD, those four letters again. If you want to add a bulletproof panel, to your bag, these go great for just your own backpack or your kids' backpacks and stuff. A really popular item, adds not too much weight, adds very little bulk, and is a giant, giant bulletproof panel. This is for one of the bigger bags, but these are bigger than your standard kind of backpack panels in that they will take up the entire footprint of the bag. So another good option to add to a bag if you're looking to go bulletproof. 
All right, maybe let's drop the camera down like this. This is the Tourist Sling. It's their smallest bag. It's about like this size here. All these bags come in a variety of nice colors. All of them feature very nice materials. A lot of them have Velcro on the outside. Anyway, this sling has a little back panel where you can have your kind of waist strap and then this strap can kind of tuck in here. Almost all the Vertex bags, maybe all of them actually have this little pass through as well, where if you have a bulletproof panel in them, you can kind of use it as a shield to dodge knife attacks or go all Captain America if you want to. But also a more practical use is your carry-on bag or your suitcase with the handle, you know, that kind of pops up. This will slide down in there and you can carry it like that. So the tourist sling is obviously just a sling bag, carry it like this, do your thing. And it has the quick pull zipper pull here. So this is on pretty much all the Vertex bags again, and that makes it easy to go from here. You just grab it down here without having to fumble around much, swing it around, and then you can get to your pocket in here where you can have your Velcro holster with a gun if you want. All of these guys will drop down like this. Some of the other bags have new little clips here, so they won't drop down all the way unless you unclip them. So you can either choose to have them drop all the way or not. This whole panel right here is Velcro lined, so you can Velcro anything again with the US made Velcro. And then this back panel, the concealed carry panel kind of is where all of these bags, you're gonna be able to insert your bulletproof panels. So that's what we got going on in the back. And then in this bag, we also have another kind of little admin pocket where you can put little things. It has a little tablet pouch here, and then a little pull handle here, and then one smaller pocket in the front, which has a little zipper pouch and then some kind of pen holder type things. So that is the Taurus Sling. Then we have the Transit, it's another sling, a little bigger. Goes over the top like this. These are all gonna be kind of geared towards right hand, but the Taurus is ambidextrous. The Transit and the Commuter will be kind of geared towards right hand, and then we'll get into the Dead Letter, which is kind of ambidextrous. Anyway, same deal here. Pull tab, get it, get your concealed carry pocket. This. Like I was mentioning, some of these bags have a little clip. So you can either keep this clipped so it doesn't completely fall out when you unzip it, or you can unclip it and then it'll fall all the way out. Again, Velcro interior. This sling has a handle here, which is nice. I find nice to get these slings off. You can kind of fling them over here and then you can just lift them off like that. So the handle's nice or you can carry it kind of briefcase style like this if you want. Then the commuter is basically laid out just like the transit in that we have another pocket here. This pocket will allow you to kind of clip in a laptop or a tablet. So it's not really like a padded area so much, so it's not like a super protective laptop area. Then on this side, we have some admin pen pockets, little zipper pouch here. And then this is all lined with Velcro again. So if you have medical kit or anything that's Velcro, you wanna slap into either of these compartments, you can do that. Then we have this pull down, which how can I show this best? On the front of the pouch, on the front of the bag here, I, I mean, you could, you could wear the bag like this if you want to, but it's not kind of the standard application. We have this quick pull down pouch. So this will pull down to expose more Velcro and kind of your molly straps here if you wanna hook stuff into. All of the bags that have this also have a little hidden area that you can shove this up if you want to. So you can either use this area as a hidden pocket or you can use it to where now you have exposed molly and Velcro on the exterior of the pack. So you can go a little more low profile with the normal mode or if you want a little more tactical, you can suck that up under there and then go tactical here. And these bags have these little grab straps. Almost all of the Vertex bags have them, which I really like. This is good for if you throw it on a desk or the back seat of your car, you just wanna grab it, 
really nice, easy handle. So those are some features that are kind of shared amongst the packs. This one does have a quick release strap here that the commuter does not have. So this is kind of a quick release rotating thing and does have a little waist strap that you can hook up there. So the commuter is almost identical to the Transit, albeit just a little bit bigger. So I'm not gonna dive too much into the features here. If you're looking for pretty much the same setup as the Transit, but larger with a few different features, like I said, this isn't like removable or swivel, but largely the same in a bigger package, we have the commuter. And then if we wanna go even bigger, we have this, this is the Commuter XL. This is actually the 1.0 edition, but the 2.0 again, largely the same with just the added updates. Another thing that I didn't mention of the 2.0s, all of their concealed carry pockets are larger, as in they are deeper this way. So they found, Vertex found that a lot of people were carrying PDWs, folding stocks, those kind of things in here. And the 1.0 version of these bags, this compartment was not very deep. So people were putting their guns in the different pockets and stuff like that. So they made these in the 2.0s and the new versions wider basically. So the footprint is essentially the same, but they just have a little more depth. So if you need to put a gun that's a little fatter or just anything that's a little fatter in here, a fatter med kit, whatever, you're gonna have a little more room for that. Then we get to the new sling. This is my favorite sling of the bunch. This is called the Dead Letter Sling. So this is the truly ambidextrous and kind of, it, ha it, can, it can fill multiple roles. So if you're a lefty, this is the sling that you're gonna wanna get. Or if you're a righty, it's probably also the sling that is worth looking into. Carry it like a sling bag, obviously. Oops, I unzipped this already. But same deal where you have it on like a sling, you can hook over your third strap to make it a little more secure if you want. Grab your handle, pull it, get down in here, access all of your stuff. The dead letter does have these little clippies as well that will, if you zip it all the way, it's not gonna fall out and fall down on you. So these clips will keep it up, but you can unclip them as well if you do want the whole fall down version. So the dead letter, just like all the ones before, does have Velcro in here, as well as the pouch, the pocket for the bulletproof panel. And that is kind of the main kind of quick access pocket in the back here. The dead letter does also have a handle on top, so you can carry it briefcase style, or again, use it to get it off. And it does have this oriented this way. So the reason I like this thing is because everything on this thing is actually geared towards this. So if I'm gonna be using this just admin use, general use, whatever, I like that everything is oriented like this, rather than the transit and the commuter. This pocket is kind of oriented like this, so it's kind of, usable in a weird, different way. This again, will have your secondary pocket, which has a more dedicated actual laptop sleeve. This will fit like a 15 inch MacBook Pro, and it's not really padded again, but it does have Velcro over here. Premier actually does make another product, this, which they have in multiple sizes, but it's basically a laptop or a tablet sleeve. So you could put something like that in here to have a little more protection for your tablet if you want to, and then this also, is bulletproof. Straight up will stop pistol caliber, so handgun rounds out of this puppy. So you can kind of double duty that, put that in here, and that'll kind of pad your laptop or your tablet, and it will also function as a bulletproof panel. So if you want to do something like that, good option for kind of these backpacks that can take laptops or tablets, but isn't super protected. And then again, we kind of have our admin area up here. So that's a nice big, pouch for doing other stuff. And then, like I mentioned before, we have this vertical orientation teardown pouch. Same dealio, all of these pouches that tear down like this, like I mentioned before, have the hidden pocket that you can kind of tuck this up under. So if you want to run exposed Velcro or Molly out here, you can, but all of these bags also, every bag that's gonna fold down like this has these little clippies as well. So these will have a spot to clip usually out on the pack, so you can clip it up here, or you can clip it just onto one of these straps here, 
And this basically makes a big pouch. So if you have a helmet or a big jacket or anything like that, you can undo this pouch, adjust these to whatever length you have and kind of hook it up. And then it kind of makes this little kangaroo type pouch that you can hold stuff in. And then if you don't want to use them, you can hook those C-clips in to an area like that. And then they're just tucked away. So back in to business up here, tucked away, kind of almost a hidden pocket if you kind of tuck these things up in here. But again, you can grab this for quick, easy access to that pouch if you want to kind of access your hidden pouch like that. Okay, so great pockets, great, great layout, but let's get into the ambidextrous kind of bits of this. So you see on the bag here, I have it laid out in kind of a right-handed sling orientation. In here, there's this little clip. You can clip it here, you can clip it here, or you can clip it here. So you basically change the clip orientation to this way if you wanna set it up for left-handed use, and then it'll fling around and operate just like it did right-handed but on the other side. But you can also take this clip out, hook it in here, and then you kind of have your more standard messenger style pack if you want to carry it like this. So if you're one of these guys or if you just want to toss it over your shoulder like this, this bag also fills that role with this handle, with this handle here as well. So this bag's super versatile, very nice that it's ambi and also kind of can fill the role of two bags. Just a great option worth looking into. Again, this guy was the dead letter sling, probably my favorite or second favorite of kind of the new bags they came out with. And then we have, which is gonna be your smallest, lightest, and cheapest option for the standard backpack style. This is called the Last Call. This kind of has the trendy flip top. Uh, this backpack and a couple others actually come in this like light tan color, which is really this color which is this soft cotton material, which is gonna like, it's gonna wear and kind of like absorb colors and stains and it's gonna kind of get like a weathered, I don't know, just a cool look to it. I wanna get the gamut in this color. It's just all this color and I don't know why, but I really, really like it. Uh, this bag is available in that color too. Probably the option I'd go to go for, but if you like this too, another great option, it's kind of got that kind of Patagonia-esque, kind of shinier leather-esque vinyl material here with your heather gray down below. Anyways, this bag is gonna be the lightest option of the bunch. It has these clips, so it's kind of a flip top style. And it does have Velcro here, so this will flip up and you can access the main compartment. These kind of flip tops are nice because you can overstuff them if you need to, if you have a big jacket that you want to shove in the top or whatever. We have a little laptop sleeve down in here. And then in the front, we have this teardown molly section again. Same deal here, we have the Velcro molly. This will tear down, has your C-clips to hook up if you want to, and then the hidden compartment that you can tuck this whole panel up underneath. So if you need to go commando kind of exposed molly and less discreet, you can do that. But if you wanna go kind of more discreet where it just kind of looks like a trendy backpack, you can do that as well. It has just your Standard water bottle pockets, so no strings or anything to mess around with, and no pockets over here, but dual water bottle pockets. They are not big enough to fit the big Nalgene bottles, though. So just a note, I think every other water bottle holder will fit the big Nalgene's except for this one, uh, which is good because they actually upgraded the gamuts and stuff to maybe to my request or others because I carry the big Nalgene, and though they fit, they were super tight, so they made the water bottle holders bigger, but not in the little last call bag. And then the last call bag will also have your concealed pouch in the back like all the others. So access here, Velcro, body armor panel, quick access tab. You are seeing the trend by now probably. So anyways, last call, good looking little bag if you wanna get into kind of the tactical bag game, but still look very fashionable gray man this is probably gonna be your option. 
Similarly sized to the last call is the EDC Ready Bag. This bag's been out for a while. This is the 2.0 version, so it has all the upgrades I talked about earlier. This is a nice color scheme. So it's kind of a smaller version of the gamut, though it does have some different features or properties. Again, concealed carry panel back here, all that normal stuff. And then your main pouch will have your little kind of laptop sleeve and then some admin dealios up here. Pocket, kind of some pen type holsters, holsters, pouches rather. The new feature on these bags are this pull tab here. So when not in use, it just Velcros down out of the way and you just zip it up like a normal bag. What Vertex found was a lot of people are putting PDWs and stuff in these bags and they wanted quicker access to them. So now you can pull this out and you can either Velcro it back here if you want or just kind of leave it, leave it dangling, but I would Velcro it so that way it doesn't fall back in. So then what you have now is this with this quick pull tab where you can just grab it, rip it, and pull this down open. So if you need quick access to the main compartment, all of these larger bags, I think, are gonna have this pull tab. So if I don't mention it, I think all of the bags from here on up are gonna have this quick pull tab if you wanna use it. Very cool feature to have. Again, we got Velcro lining on the inside. And then this one is a little different than the other bags and that we still do have our little molly velcro section here but instead of a hidden pouch underneath we have this pouch so you can stuff more stuff in here it's kind of a full length pocket that will only open to there but if you want to you can stuff that down in there and then you have your exposed molly on the outside here then we have a typical kind of admin pouch down here with your pen pockets and whatever a little zip, little zipper pouch down there Water bottles on the outside, these ones I believe do fit a large Nalgene. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, but they have also the little pulley, stretchy cord enclosures. So water bottle pockets on both sides. And this is the gamut. I don't actually have a 2.0, so this is my tried and true 1.0. So this doesn't feature all the new hotness, but the Gamut is a great bag. I have a whole video on this bag actually on my channel. It's just like EDC 2018 EDC laptop backpack or something. This is probably my favorite just everyday laptop backpack. So it's a little bit bigger than the EDC ready bag, but it has some more features. Instead of just having water bottle pockets over here, we have actual pockets to put more stuff in on both sides here. So it's just a little bigger, has a little more room, has a more true laptop compartment in here. I believe the 2.0 does have kind of this removable laptop pouch. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I'll show you what I mean in a second. Anyway, the gamut tried and true, 2.0 refreshed, little upgrades, but this is the 1.0 just to kind of show you the bag. And then we have a little bigger than the gamut. This is called the gamut checkpoint. Now this is a little different than the previous bags in that it's kind of like this tapered type fit that you see a lot of bags going through these days and has no exterior water, bo water bottle pockets. Though this pouch does open up and you can use it as a water bottle pocket if you need to. So kind of they're kind of like hidden water bottle pockets, I guess. I don't know how I feel about that one way or the other. Has your standard backpack straps, very padded, very nice. Has an adjustable and removable sternum strap. And then it has kind of not really a hip pad, but it does have a waist strap here that is removable as well. Getting into the bag, this whole part opens up. Again, we have this kind of quick access pool if you want to. And this will open up all the way. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to do this while standing up. So it's kind of a little bit weird. So this will open up all the way down there. Now this is kind of the new laptop pouch that I was talking about. It's a little bit more padded and it's adjustable in that it's Velcroed in here behind. So very securely Velcroed in here, but also contained at the bottom. It does have little kind of holes in the bottom so stuff can fall out the bottom. So if you're putting small items in here, they will trickle their way out of the edges. But Velcro down here, so you can kind of adjust the height, the ride height, how deep it is, uh, how low it is, how deep it is. 
and then you can kind of adjust a little bit how big it is. So if you wanted to use this pocket to stash a gun or something else, you could. If you wanted to use it for a laptop, you could. So if you wanted to use it for a water bladder, and all of these bags I forgot to mention do function with water bladders. They'll have a little pass-through type here on either side that you can run down these on their straps if you need to run a bladder. So anyways, this big pouch here, again, we have a lot of Velcro surface area here and these pouches and Velcro down here. This will obviously be up like this. So when you're accessing the bag normally, you can flip it down and get to all of this stuff on the inside. Then this will have, again, your similar handle that you can grab it with as well as the true handle back here. This part will Rip down, again, very similar DNA. We got this hidden pouch, you can suck that up in there if you want to expose Molly. These little C or G clips, I think, can hook them in here and kind of have an expandable pocket back in here. So this, nice little streamlined option. The bottom is this kind of more durable, shiny type stuff. It is padded as well. And they do have, all of these bags do also have like a semi, rigid, and I wouldn't call them even rigid at all, but a little plastic insert that you can remove if you want them to be more flexible, but the little plastic insert will help them maintain their shape a little bit better. Checkpoint. And then we have the big boy, the Gamut Overland. So this is gonna be the biggest, it does have external water bottle pockets in addition to the pocket pocket with organization in here. This one will have a true kind of hip pad, albeit it isn't like super rigid and super padded, not really a backpacking bag, though it does have some load bearing properties on here with some little guys that you can hook little pouches or whatever to. Nice straps again, sternum strap removable. And I'll just mention it again, even though I mentioned it earlier, all of these bags do have this pass through that you can hook onto your luggage handle or go again shield mode with the big bulletproof panel inside. Again, this will have your concealed carry pocket in the back with your little easy grab strap. That's gonna be where you're gonna put your panel, your concealed carry gun if you want to. And then this will have, again, big strap in the back, little grab handle here. This has a big old pocket inside, largely similar to what we just went over with this big kind of modular laptop type compartment here. It does have the quick release strap guy up here. Now this is a feature that's only on this bag. It does feature a little top pocket here. So this is kind of shallow, though it's a pretty big pocket where you can store your gum or your sunglasses or whatever you want easy access to just right up top that's not gonna get, get crushed under the weight or anything of the other stuff down below. So we have that pocket. And then we have this pocket, which is a little bit different than the other. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see on the black here, but I do have the auto exposure compensating so that you can kind of hopefully see the blacks a little better when I do this kind of stuff. Anyway, this is a little different in that it's open from the top. So you can just kind of stuff stuff down in here, a jacket or whatever, and it's gonna be fully contained except at the top. So it won't fall out the sides or anything like that. We have the G clips again over here. And then furthermore, we have a little snap enclosure here to really keep this section contained if you wanna use it like that. But if you don't, zips down again, hidden pocket underneath, you can tuck this whole panel up underneath and have the exposed molly again if that is your jam. Kind of a heavier Cordura material on the bottom. The whole bottom is padded as well with some, you know, whatever density padding at the bottom. So that is another nice big bag. So if you need a big, big mama pajama backpack, that is one you could go for. I'll throw it on my back, back and turn around so you can kind of see it up on there for reference. And then let's talk briefly on the contingency duffel. I should have emptied this. I just used this on my last camping trip. So it actually still has stuff in it. So we have this kind of cool heather type gray texture on the top. This is, I think, a 45 liter and then they have an 85 liter. So this is the smaller one and they have one that's about double this size. So there is some rigidity in this. It does kind of have a padded base that holds its shape and it has multiple pockets, has grab handles on both sides. It has straps on the top 
with these little clippies that you can configure all kinds of ways. So it does come with two straps that you can kind of use as backpack straps. I took it off. I just left one on so I can carry it kind of like a duffel. I can carry it over my shoulder like this if I want to, but it does have two straps if you want to go backpack mode. And then it has this compartment in the front. We have some Velcro here, which is covered with dog hair. We have a little kind of ID pouch here where you can drop a business card or something else. And then this pouch is zipper. So in here we have kind of admin organization pouches down in here. So we have a nice big kind of almost full length pocket in the front to kind of keep some organization items. And then we have our main pocket down in here. So mine is filled with clothes right now, but <laughs> over here we have some zipper pockets, two separate ones to keep a little bit interior organization as well as one on the end here. So a lot of nice interior organization to take advantage of. We have a separate kind of hidden layer back here behind and then we have this end pocket here. So it has a unique thing, which is this pass through back in here. So we have Velcro here and you could just use it as a regular thing. You can put long items in here and it's kind of a hidden compartment. So what I have here is a honey badger pistol. So this is a Q honey badger pistol will fit in here on the 45. So that is that just, and I love duffel bags too. I've tried all kinds and this one I like. Some duffel bags, I go through phases where it's just a duffel bag, no interior organization. I think I like that because I'm a minimalist, but then I'm like, where's all my little things? So this has a ton of organization. It's kind of on the other end of the spectrum, which I really, really like. I love compartmentalization in backpacks and I'm finding that I love compartmentalization in duffel bags as well. So anyways, another great option from Vertex. These are new, two sizes, worth checking out. Okay guys, I think that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I got rambly at times, I apologize again. Links to all this stuff will be down in the video descriptions below. Let me know in the comments if you want me to dive deeper into a specific bag or something like that. I've done get home bag videos, EDC bag videos, all kinds of those types of videos in the past. My systems change, but not all that much. So in the meantime, just search my channel for one of those types of videos if you're interested in kind of how I load them out. Otherwise, let me know what you'd like to see videos of. I always appreciate use, using the links down in my video descriptions below. Some are affiliate links, some aren't, but either way, probably they'll help the channel, so I appreciate using them. I do also have a Patreon where I will be giving away Vertex bags for the next several months. I have all of their like last year's bags that were replenished with all of the current bags, so I'm gonna be giving away all of my previous generation bags. Some of them have literally not been used at all. Some of them have been used very lightly. So if you like supporting content creators and you like giveaways, I do one monthly for the 556 level over there. So it's just patreon.com slash LLOD. Always appreciate the support. Get subscribed, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, get subscribed to the notification squad. Thanks for watching. Until next time guys, take care.